Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always Darth Devious bringing you another video review this time. It is Mini Warriors Dune Raker. Mini Raker's Dune Warrior. And I like these little Mini Warrior figures. Um, I've got a couple of them. <laughs> of course his says till all our funky instead of all our fun. I mean, the box is what it is. It's, it's got the psychedelic stuff on on the back. It's got a little bio if you want to read it. Mini Warrior to Beach Buggy and back again. And he's got a flower that goes in his gun. He really does. So we'll get that out of here. Don't need the packaging. We're going to bring Dune Raker in. And he's their version of Beachcomber. Um, like all the other mini warriors, he seems to be off color. A little too light blue. He should be a darker blue. What can you do? I might go through, go back and repaint him. Um, I've got the skills. I can do that. See under there. There's a little bit of robot junk that hanging down, but when it's concealed by the car mode, I don't consider it kibble. I consider kibble something that's extraneous hanging off for no reason. You know, like the underside of a lot of jet formers where their arms are clearly hanging off the bottom. That's kibble. This, I mean, yeah, his hands are hanging off, but the way the car sits, you really can't see him. He's got a gun here, and it, it, it only attaches... Oof. And this is one, one thing with him. His roll cage comes up. Um, it, it only attaches to the one bar on the roll cage where it's thicker. And you see his gun. Yes, it does indeed have a flower in it. And the flower is removable. But, you know, it's supposed to be because he's a peace-loving Autobot. You know, get it? He's a hippie Autobot. I think if I re do repaint him, I'm going to repaint his one hand gold to be Electrum color. And his transformation is insanely simple. I mean, you can see he rolls. He's got an engine in the back. That's his head. These are his feet. You know, it's, it's 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 similar to the G1 toy and how it transforms. You gotta move these down a little bit as you transform them. There's his knees, and he's got these little panels in the back um, that become his heel spurs. Somewhat, they don't really hold in place real well, but they function. You see, he stands. He's got no problem standing. And his arms, which are a little weird. They unpeg and they spread out and fold down. And his head, you flip the engine back and then you just rotate his head around. Boom, boom, boom. Do, 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 do. Where's the Golden Lagoon? And that's it. That's Dune Raker in his robot mode. Told you, really simple. Most of these mini warrior figures are simple like that. He has a decent amount of articulation for a figure this size. His head is on a ball joint. As you can clearly see, he gets very emotive. Oh, oh, oh. Zoom in. Show you his face. Not a lot of detail. They did do the visor in silver. Um, like I said, he's not really dark enough to be beachcomber. I'm probably going to see if I can pop him apart and repaint, repaint him. Repaint all the blue parts. Um, not going to be easy, but I might redo it. May, might not. Might just keep him the way he is differentiate him from Beachcomber a little bit. But that's why I want him, because I'm a fan of Beachcomber. And he's got a swivel here, and this rotates too, so I mean, you can almost call it like he's got a double shoulder. Whatever. And then he's got, you know, a ball joint here at the elbow. He's got a waist, which is just part of his articulation. It's not part of transformation. Ball jointed hips. He's got a swivel. Got a really good knee, mainly because of transformation, he's got a really good knee. And nothing at the feet, but his feet are posed so that you can get him in some wide-legged poses. And he can hold his gun. 
That stuff falls off my review desk. And then we'll bring in their version of Swerve, who has very similar arms. It's one of the reasons why I chose their version of Swerve and not Hench. Um, their version of Swerve has a similar transformation in his arms, whereas you pull out the sides of the front of the vehicle and he's got like this double shoulder thing and then the ball jointed elbow. Um, he has a little bit of articulation more because he's got the pivot in his foot, but it's easier for him to move his head, so. He could have used more paint details. He's got a lot of paint details. He has almost nothing. I and mean, even if I don't repaint him, I'm going to pick out some of these details on him because they need to be. But yeah. I'm actually happy I finally got him. I, I mean, I knew all this stuff about him long before I got him. My friend Sean had him. I was messing with him at his house like a year or so ago. And I just... I'm a Beachcomber fan. I needed to have this for my collection. So I'm glad I got it. So, yeah, I like these Mini Warriors. Um... I've got, I think he makes number four. I've got, you know, Hench and the Outback Analog, and I've got Swerve, and now I've got Beachcomber. So, there you go. Yeah, these, these go good with the Classics figures. That's what they're made for. So, that's it. So, there you go. That's my look at uh, their version of Beachcomber, also known as Dune Raker. You be good, or he's gonna start, you know, spewing hippie crap at you. A boom, boom, boom. Oh, don't, don't hurt the animals, everybody. All right, later.